Welcome to Europe ECR 2019 and let us address some important issues regarding the treatment of tricuspid regurgitation with annular reduction to cardio band system. With me today we have two outstanding experts and I would like to ask you what is exactly the unmet need in terms of treatment for patients with tricuspid regurgitation. The problem with this disease is that our treatment options are so limited. If you have a patient with uh, severe or even torrential tricuspid regurgitation, you basically can treat these patients with diuretics. You don't have any medical treatment option which in fact would change the prognosis of the patient and would substantially reduce symptoms. This is the unmet need and we need to attack what we can attack which is the leaky valve. Okay, and what would be the therapeutic option uh, instead of the medical treatment? I mean, most of the tricuspid regurgitations are caused by annular dilatation. Does, that means that uh, it makes sense to find a therapy to reduce the annular size. And that's what the surgeons are doing. They are implanting a ring to reduce the size of the annulus. But the problem is that is with a hard lung machine, it's with opening uh, the chest and we know that the in-hospital mortality after isolated um, tricuspid surgery is between 8 and 10 percent. So that's a very high uh, mortality rate even in patients that are not so sick and that's the reason why um, surgery is probably um, not the best option to find a interventional um, therapy without heart lung machine, without opening uh, the chest um, and with lower risk um, would be a good option uh, for these patients. And um, cardioband um, is an interventional anoplasty system um, where a band is um, implanted and it can be a size adjusted um, at the beating heart um, and you can reduce the size of the band um, and reduce the, the annular size and you can watch by echo how the um, tricuspid regurgitation is reduced. And um, we hope that um, this is an option for the future for these patients. Maybe I could highlight uh, the importance of imaging in this kind of patients for selection and maybe the role of echo, especially the ideal candidate for uh, this kind of uh, technology should be a patient with no severe uh, tethering, no severe gap in, in, in terms of coaptation gap, no severe uh, right ventricular dysfunction, pulmonary hypertension. So in practice, if I can summarize, we need an echo just to uh, patient selection for screening. And after we need in all these kind of patients, CT scan to see exactly the connection with the right coronary artery and to see also the sizing of the band by the perimeter of the tricuspid annulus. Uh, do you have any idea of the data that the tree repair study uh, that was performed? Can you share with us some of these data and results? So at uh, Euro PCR 2019, uh, we have already the one-year results of the tri repair study, a prospective single-arm st um, study where 30 patients with functional tricuspid regurgitation um, and uh, mm. high surgical risk are included. And we see now in these uh, data that are presented at this uh, Congress that uh, we have a persistent reduction in the annular size. There's no fate of the, of the effect we saw um, initially. And um, consistent with that, we see that um, the reduction of tricuspid regurgitation is, is persistent after one year. And we also see that with clinical results, um, the six minute walk test, the NUHA classification, the quality of life um, are all factors that are significantly reduced with uh, the cardioband and tricuspid position. And these results um, are after one year um, as good as after um, 30 days. And what is important that um, the mortality rate is, is low. So these are very encouraging and promising uh, data. But I would like to ask a provocative uh, question. If the mortality is so high after surgery, and we say that a torrentive or massive um, TR has a, a bad prognosis. Maybe we should start earlier. And if we have a, a safe device with a low mortality rate, I, th I think 
maybe it's not the time now, but in the future, maybe this is uh, the therapy that can be used very early before the severe TR becomes massive or torrentive. Yeah, one of the concerns is clearly to identify these patients. They will evolve rapidly toward an, you know, uh, irreversible myocardial damage and disease with a very poor outcome and prognosis. So maybe the use of the cardio band at the earlier stage, when we will have enough data to be sure that the three pair is okay, but we need more data, uh, I think it could be a very alternative option, very useful in this kind of patients. And of course, it offers something unique and new, because if we don't treat these patients, they will, of course, die and they will have a lot of comorbidities. So thank you so much for your participation in this interview and uh, let us wait for other new data in the near future.